As professionals, you can readily understand the need for updated training and information on important topics relating to your job and health. Today, this program helps meet this challenge by reviewing information you need to protect yourself and others when working with hazardous materials and chemicals. You work with hazardous materials and chemicals every day. Cleaning supplies, pesticides, soaps, detergents, solvents, gasoline, and many others. You name it, they're all part of your job. You use these same basic chemicals in your home. Are you at risk by using chemicals? Well, there's no one specific answer to the question. We can't possibly cover all chemical hazards, but we simply want to provide some basic information to help reduce health hazards. A hazardous chemical is any chemical that poses a physical or health hazard. Physical hazards include combustible liquids, compressed gas, explosive or flammable liquids, or oxidizers. Health hazards include those chemicals creating acute or chronic health effects. Basically, anything that can damage the eyes, lungs, skin, or mucous membranes. All this tells you is practically every chemical at home or work presents a potential physical or health hazard. Of course, each chemical has varying degrees of hazards, and for that reason, it's critical for you to read and follow the instructions and warning labels on all chemicals. Gasoline is a physical and health hazard, and it's used safely by millions of people. Learn the hazard and take the steps necessary to avoid the risks. This program is called Hazard Communications, Your Right to Know. More importantly, it's your need to know. You already have an understanding of the chemicals you use at home and work, and you should be aware that some chemicals can be hazardous to your health if used improperly. Treat all chemicals as potential physical and health hazards. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But why take a chance? The point we're trying to make is to treat all chemicals with respect read and follow the information printed on the label. The next step in the educational process is to know more information about the chemicals used in your job. Information about the chemicals you work with comes in two forms, the manufacturer's label on the product container and on safety data sheets that are developed by the chemical manufacturer. This SDS is provided by the manufacturer and contains information on each chemical. A chemical inventory is maintained, and if a new chemical cleaner or ink is introduced, a safety data sheet is requested and reviewed by your plant safety coordinator. The SDS serves several important functions. The information on the SDS is used to determine the type of safety equipment needed to protect you against potential hazards. The information is also the basis for policies and programs to reduce potential adverse physical and health hazards. This includes 